October marks the 30th anniversary of Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and a local advocacy agency is expanding its efforts to help survivors in all corners of the metro. Yeah, the topic can be uncomfortable to talk about, but those at Home Free in Plymouth believe increasing awareness is crucial so domestic violence survivors can feel community support. Mary McGuire joins us now live from Plymouth to explain more about an online awareness campaign launching today meant to educate users. Mary? Good morning to you guys. We are here at the Home Free Shelter in Plymouth. We're here in the children's room this morning where organizers are going to launch a social media campaign today meant to increase awareness about domestic violence. We know that this necessarily isn't a topic that's comfortable to talk about. It's not fun to talk about, but it's something that we need to talk about to increase awareness and they're doing it on social media today. I'm here with Sarah with Home Free. Good morning to you. Thanks for waking up early. Good morning. Thank you. Explain what the hashtag I wish you knew means. So as common as domestic violence is, there is still a culture of silence around it and a culture that keeps survivors from reaching out for help. And so what we're doing here is really trying to dispel a lot of the myths that come with social, with, excuse me, with domestic violence. And so talking about why women stay in abusive relationships or how hard it can be to leave and what the realities of domestic violence are. And so the hashtag I wish you knew is about asking survivors if it's safe for them to do so, advocates, community members, to really try and dispel those myths about domestic violence to say, I wish you knew this about domestic violence. I wish you knew how hard it is to leave when I might be homeless if I leave my abus abusive partner, that sort of thing. Um, so we really want to raise awareness and dispel myths about domestic violence so that our community can be a better support for survivors of domestic violence. And it's not just for survivors of domestic violence. Other people can post as well. Um, can you share an example of a post that uh, I could share? Absolutely. So one of the things that we, we have encouraged uh, community members like yourself who might want to share things like hashtag I wish you knew that there are resources available and that uh, we will believe your story. That's a huge piece of this is being believed and being supported. And we've seen uh, in recent uh, weeks and really the past week, the hashtag Me Too um, that really, really was prompted by the Harvey Weinstein uh, sexual harassment scandal. Yes. That really took social media and allowed survivors to feel comfortable with sharing their stories. Mm -hmm. What is it about social media that you think allows them to do that? I think there's a couple different things. For one thing, it's part of most of our everyday lives. And so people feel that it's a platform they can speak from. It also allows access to marginalized groups. So people who don't have access to things like TV shows or you know morning news uh, can share their stories and have their voices heard on social media in a way that wasn't available to them in other places. And so social media is an easy and accessible way for people to share their stories. Not that sharing your story is ever easy, but it is something that people can really engage on in a very public way and a way that really gets people involved and can get a lot of traction very quickly. Fantastic. And again, the hashtag is hashtag I wish you knew and Home Free Minnesota is launching this advocacy campaign today in light of Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So you can use it on Twitter and Facebook. I've already sent out a tweet and we do have a link to more information about Home Free and this campaign up on our website, WCCO.com, guys. Okay, Mary, yeah, we know how powerful social media is with connecting all of us, but especially for survivors as well. Mary, thank you.